much that this mean to do? It meant a lot. Look, ultimately, it's another three points. Um, there's no doubt, look, three points against Belize are worth the same as three points against you know a team at the bottom of the league. But I think the difference for today's game was it was a really tough football match. You know, Belize are a really good football team. And so to take points, any points off them, is always going to be incredibly difficult. Um, they played, or it's not like they played badly and we won the game. I think both teams played a really good game of football. They caused us problems. We were really disappointed with the goal we conceded because it, it, in essence, it's a typical police goal. It's something we were preparing for and we just didn't quite get it right. But we came back, we showed that mental strength that the team have, fought back, scored from a well-worked set piece, and then <laughs> really quite pleasing because I think you can see police were maybe playing a more counter-attack game, yet the goal that's done it for us is a classic counter-attack goal. You know, God, we spoke about it at halftime, we said to God, target those spaces. If you can get that ball out of your hands quickly with that sort of sidewinder kick, it'll create a chance for us. And he did it, he remembered, he got the ball in his hands. Bonnie, like how many people in Boniface or Mondi's situation try to shoot? Mm -hmm. But the calmness to roll it across to Benson, and look, when you put it in there, the chances are he's going to score. So overall, we're really pleased, but everyone, even the subs that came on, it was a big performance. It needed it, because if we weren't at our best, we wouldn't have got the points today. But yeah, well done to both teams. And, you know, we're delighted to take another three points. The play ball has a potential last week just for you guys. You conceded first and then you came back in the game, won the game with only nine minutes left in the club. Did you like the, mental, the character you saw in your team today? I've liked the character I've seen in my team since pre-season. You know, what you've noticed about Kogalo is we do things in quiet, yeah? You know, we don't talk a lot. You don't see a lot of us talking in the media. Even in pre-season when maybe things weren't as smooth as they could have been, you didn't see guys talking all the time. For us, it was just about get on with the job because it doesn't matter how much you talk in this game. It's for 90, 95 minutes out on the grass, that's where you've got to do your talking. And so for me, I've never had any doubt about the character of my players from the day one. And you know, they've shown that again today. Only the second time this season we've went behind. Um, the other was the KCB game, so it's great to see that reaction from the boys, but we knew they had it in. Last for me, they say work hard in silence, let success make the noise. This is the clearest time that we might the team to be this season. Look, I think when te teams already know, when they come to play us, they're in for a really difficult afternoon. We're not the finished product yet. There's a lot of young guys in that team. You know, again, if you look, I think 70% of our squad is under 23. This is very much, not only is it the Kogalo of today, it's the Kogalo of tomorrow. Um, I think a lot of our rivals at the top are more mature and they have more experience. And look, you saw that today, police, they've got a lot of very experienced players who we know very well. And at times they were on top of the game using that experience, but for us, you know, we're going to work. We've got guys who will never stop running. And, and, you know, we've got another, what's that now, game 16? We've got, you know, another 21 games. And that's 21 games of hard graft. But we know we've got it in us. Coach Emery Baiseng is here. He's a player you've worked with in the national team. Uh, clearly, he's already had, has some, uh, some sort of understanding. The players looking at how they're saying they're not going to lose uh, each other. How much, just how much of a boost is he to your squad coming in to the second half of the season? You know, one of the things we said as a club strategy was the players coming in in the first phase, um, it had to be players who would slot straight into the system. Um, Mid-season's hard because you don't have time to train the players, they're going straight in. And so we said in phase one, we had to get players who knew tactically what we wanted, but also character-wise. Because look, I think you've got to be honest that Kogalo, no one would argue to say that the transfer strategy over the last two or three years, they've got it wrong. There's been a lot of, you know, not good enough players have come into Kogalo over the last few years. You look at, you said Emery, you know, over 60 caps for the Rwanda national team. I know his character inside of out. I, you know, I've worked with him a couple of times. I know the quality he brings. But also Patrick Kadu, again, 25, 30 caps for the national team. These are not small players. Bormaya should not sign small players. The types of players we will sign whilst I'm here are either those top, top quality players with huge experience or they'll be the next generation of hot talent because you, know, you look at some of the young guys we're bringing in, Sylvester Owino, you know, Enoch Wanyama, these are the next generation of the Harambee stars. So it's all quality, but look, at the moment, they're substitutes for us because this team is winning and whilst this team's winning, we're not going to be changing it. Those guys have to give us a reason to change it.